Well, today was the first game for Texas in their football schedule, and as all Texans believe, today should have been a national holiday. September 2nd has finally arrived, the day that Texas fans had circled on their calendar since the Alamo Bowl. Bijan Robinson and DeMarvian Overshawn were sure to show out for Texas's first game of the season against Rice. But in traditional Texas fashion, the offense would get off to a slow start. After a failed fourth down conversion, Rice would get on the field and put a field goal through the uprights to take a 3-0 lead. However, it wouldn't last long as Quinn Ewers would find his man Jonathan Brooks on the screen pass as he would break a tackle and get all the way into the end zone for the score. Texas would go up 7-3 and they would simply not look back. But was it the offense that was dominant for Texas? Nope. It was the defense. The front four was terrorizing quarterback JT Daniels all night. Here you can see him get swallowed up by that defense. And that was simply the case the entire day for JT Daniels. The very next play, Daniels would take the snap, drop back. Looks like he had his receiver, but Jalen Ford would get a hand on it and intercept it, getting the takeaway for the Longhorns. Not much would change on the next possession. JT Daniels once again would drop back, looks like he has his receiver, and throw it right into the hands of the Texas defense. Texas would then convert on the offensive end as Quinn Ewers would find his man Jatavion Sanders to take it all the way to the house, and Texas was rolling. One more time, the next offensive possession, Quinn Ewers down at like the four-yard line, takes the snap, looks like he's going to give it to his running back, decides to keep it himself, and walks in untouched for the score. Texas would win 37-10. to Here's Coach Sark on the defense. To think we held, we held them, I think, to 60 yards in the first half, um, created three turnovers, got a, got a really big fourth and one stop, um, you know, Jalen Ford continues to make impactful plays. I thought our defensive front did exactly what they've been doing all training camp long, which is play dominant football. Um, and then we, we minimized the explosive plays. And so that, that, was, that part of it was really good. But the question remains, will C.J. Baxter be healthy next weekend? That matchup is going to be one of the biggest of the year, especially in terms of non-conference play. It doesn't look like there's going to be any better matchups for Texas throughout the rest of the year. That being said, it doesn't matter how much rice you cook, if at the end of the day you show up to Alabama and you can't roll with the punches, everything's going to go south quickly. Reporting live from DKR Memorial Stadium, I'm Justin Gooseman with TSTV Sports.